Wouldn't it be just a welcome, pleasant, unexpected surprise for your husband if you were to flirt with him? the way you used to flirt with him when you were first dating, when there was a lot of excitement and adventure and passion and enthusiasm in your relationship. Maybe you could get there again by something so simple called flirting, by putting a little spice back in there, by adding a little romance. You know, we get so caught up in the regular routines of life that it's easy to forget that we need to be intentional. Intentional, like, like almost like writing it on your calendar, on your to-do list flirt with my husband every three days or whatever, right? It could be anything. It could be like pinching his tush as he walks by in the kitchen or winking at him across the church lobby or whatever. That little bit of flirtation can greatly enhance your marriage. You know, this is biblical, by the way. I know you're thinking, biblical? Where does it say anything about flirting in the Bible? Okay, it doesn't use the word flirting, but there's a good example of it. In the Song of Songs, chapter seven, the bride, tells the husband what she's planning for him later. Let me read it to you from chapter seven of Song of Songs. She says, come my lover, let us go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded. There will I give you my love. I don't know if she said it quite like that, but she was basically telling them what she had planned later in the day. When's the last time you did that? Maybe send your husband a text while he's at work outlining your plans for the evening, just the two of you. You know what I mean? Maybe tuck a note in his lunchbox. Again, it could be as simple as just winking at him when you're with a group of people. A wink just sends that signal like, I'm thinking of you. Try it. Add some spice back into your marriage. You can do this.